Cancer, welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome to your June reading or whenever this message finds you. As time is an illusion, energy is fluid. Hit that subscribe button. Share if you'd like, if you will. Hit that like button for me, please. And hit the notification bell for those of you who want to know when my readings come out. And let's just jump right in. Thank you guys for being here. And thank you for all your love and support. Let's see what's going on for Cancer for the month of June, Spirit, or whenever this message finds them. Energies could be interchangeable, vice versa, because we also have cross-watchers, meaning people that watch for other people's signs, okay? So let's see what's happening here, Cancer. What is going on? What's going on, Spirit? For Cancer. What's going on for Cancer? Zodiac sign of Cancer. Hold on one second. Alright. Been getting some messages here. Hold on a second. Okay. Leap of faith, Cancer. A leap of faith. Take risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Aim. So Spirit wants you to take a risk and put your heart's desire into action. Whatever this is you feel you're taking a risk on. New career path, new job, new place. Maybe, you know, new place. Maybe you're moving. Um, new connections. Oh, I only needed one. Yeah, golden opportunity. Okay, important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Okay, so yeah, opportunity with leap of faith. So there's going to be a new opportunity coming up, maybe a few, that requires a leap of faith. Whatever your heart desires here. All right, so hone in into your intuition as well. We have Medicine Woman. You're a channel for divine healing power. Okay, some of you are good with your herbs, some of your healers here, you have a healing energy vibe. Um, some of you, you know, maybe this is something new you're taking up. Okay, testing your skills, jumping into something a little, you know, more um, in tune with um, your natural gifts here. All right. We have sacred space, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So if you need um, more guidance, just make sure you ask spirit when it comes to this change in your life. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. All right. So somebody wants to take take up some sort of... Um, yeah. Some of you, you could be getting into, um, you know, Ayurvedic medicine. I'm also getting, for some of you, maybe somebody wants to come see you because they know that you do this for a living or you know of herbs. So, so expect somebody to make, might take the leap of faith here because maybe they have something they want to cure naturally. That's for some of you. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Cancer, let's see. And Cancer, I keep getting a weird energy with saying Cancer. So somebody here might want to know how to cure Cancer or have some sort of Cancer. And they see that you have some sort of healing abilities through herbs. Okay. Or fruits, whatever. Through, so, so through a specific knowledge, okay. Now some of some of you that might be for yourself. Yeah, you're a beacon of light. She or he who brings light, blanche, light, serenity, and beacon. Okay, so you are a beacon of light. This was in Gemini's. Um, some of you could have Gemini in your chart, or you could be connecting with a Gemini. 
It says, She or he who avenges nemesis, revenge, outcomes, and justice. So somebody here is, uh, oh, you know what I'm getting? Ugh. I hate to bring that up, but that's what I'm picking up. Somebody, this, this is somebody vengeful here. Okay. Um, and maybe you're the beacon of light. You know about medicine. Because I see this person with like a potion here and there's a potion here. This person could, whoever's taking a leap of faith and coming towards you, they might need your healing abilities because maybe somebody in their life was poisoning them. This person's looking into your connection because there's tarot cards here. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. It's kind of reminding me of that reading that I did where somebody was poisoning someone. Okay, so just, you know, maybe you guys need to look at that one. It's a collective reading. It's a dangerous spouse is what it's called, something like that. Bottom of the deck. She or he who knows. Wisdom, clarity, and resolution. So whoever this is might have clarity on the situation they've been in and the fact that maybe perhaps um, they've been poisoned and they need some type of healing. That's what I'm getting. It's so weird. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. So this could either be a lover, a friend of yours, or a complete stranger that's been, you know, watching you and seeing that you have some sort of you have some sort of ability here. Okay. Yeah, you, Ace of Air, Four of Water. So you could be like, they feel like you came out of the Divine, Four of Cups. is you know, that hand that comes out from the sky. And they know some sort of truth. This is truth and clarity. Okay, let's see here. And that's the truth there. So they might come out of nowhere is what I'm seeing. So expect something like that. Natural born healer. That's what I'm hearing. So that's the overall energy. Let's see what else here. With the overall energy. Let's get one more shuffle because that was choppy. All right. All right, Spirit, what else is happening here? I've been getting some interesting energy lately. A lot of shift and change going on. Expect a lot of movement too because I believe Mercury retrograde is going forward again soon. Or it has. Messenger of Water. Okay. Messenger of Water. Two of Air. A decision here that's being made. Leap of Faith. Messenger of Water. Beacon of Light. Ah. Intuition. Connection. You have a connection? Well, this would be you with water. But there's something about depth, intuition, and there's an intuitive message here. So you may already know somebody is seeking you out for maybe advice on how to heal something. You're gonna you're gonna receive this message intuitively, anyways. You'll you'll know it's for you this this particular reading. Two of air is the decision on taking this leap of faith. Seven of water is the seven of cups. Yeah, this is under this person. There was a lot of illusions, different cups. I feel like this person's into potions and they use different things for different reasons. Okay, so we have someone that's a healer and understands like the benefits of herbs, fruits, stuff like that. And then we have someone that's into poisoning. So it's like the shadow aspect of you. They use it to poison, you use it to heal. This is so weird. That's what I'm getting here. 
and they they create illusions they create smoke and mirrors they confuse people with whatever they do here and they read up on it this is very dark okay they could have done this to several people or doing it to several people here man I don't like this what is up with the energy lately <laughs> talk about Gemini season coming in weird okay bottom of the deck yeah three of Pentacles this is somebody that wants to work with you and it could be due to that not this person somebody that had this person in their life here okay it's like they met their match whatever they have done you're undoing or you're gonna be undoing in a good way yeah we have patience okay somebody's trying to be patient here someone could have heart problems as well this person's holding their heart I feel like agony like ugh. yeah tower so something is changing falling apart here okay this person is not supposed to be in their life anymore but there's still things, un unfinished business is what I'm feeling here. That's why they're being patient. Or you, this is this could be you, okay, Cancer? So take it how it resonates. You're either the medicine woman, the beacon of light here, or you're the person going through this situation, okay? I don't like the tower with this card either because of the heart here. Fourteen. There's a challenge here, especially with the tower, and there's change, but it's like, yeah, three. This is a yeah. This is a this was a catalyst here for this change. Whatever this lesson is, Cancer, and we're seeing things differently. We're we're starting to see who's who. Also, is what I'm feeling. We're seeing that we weren't surrounded by the right person. Whatever this is, is is evil. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles with the Three of Fire. Yeah, you're at a distance from this situation or you're going to see somebody at a distance. Ten of Pentacles um, is, is somebody you can go the distance with. So getting to your Ten of Pentacles, there might be some travel involved here. But I feel like this is a new day also. A new situation yeah we have regrets five of water oh with the world yeah there's definitely a closing of a cycle but there's like things that are being tied up yeah six of air lesson learned there's moving here somebody's moving you could be moving or somebody that's coming to you could be maybe moving closer to you yeah they're healing they're walking by faith now not by sight yeah, towards wish fulfillment, nine of cups. So either you see someone, yeah, major lesson here. And of course, I mean, with somebody like that in your life, we would have to move away from them. Whether it's relationship, family member, it could be family with that ten of pentacles. Or somebody that was has family with this person. Um, ugh, could be anything, anyone. But whoever this person is, is close enough to them to where they're poisoning them somehow. That's what I just keep, I keep getting that. And you're the healer. Somebody needs healing. And it could be through your expertise of herbs and fruits and stuff like that. Okay. Teas, you know what I mean? Let's see what's going on here. Because remember, this is revenge. And Seven of Cups. Somebody's taking out revenge on you or the person coming to see you. One more shuffle, Spirit. Yeah, that's the truth.
Page of Cups again. Messenger of Water. So expect some sort of message. Somebody could be trying to get creative on how to message you. Um, they could want to apologize for misjudging you as well, maybe, if you know this person. This could be a crush also. Earth Angel. Yeah, you see you got your wings here. So you're an Earth Angel. You know, somebody might want to work with you also, and they're making a decision in presenting this opportunity to you. So it would require both of you to take a leap of faith. Someone reaching out and you taking a leap of faith to get this opportunity. Okay. Yeah, somebody was dealing with an enchantress. Alluring, mystical, and charming. Now, we also have the Seven of Cups. So this could be, you know, someone else that you're interested in, but that you have this person um, that you're having a tower moment with. Now, with Enchantress here on this side and Earth Angel, somebody's definitely either crushing on you or you're crushing on someone. Could be crushing on each other. I definitely feel you're in your purpose and somebody is seeking you out or you're seeking someone out here. Maybe you feel a connection to this person as well. Yeah, King of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be though. Could be a water sign here. They like what they see. And they want to go after it. Karma. This could be good karma. We do have Earth Angel here. Or somebody was dealing with some type of karma. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody was stuck with an enchantress. It was all an illusion here. Seven of Cups. This person is vengeful. I mean, even like you, if you look at these cards, right? We have She Who Avenges, Revenge, Outcomes, and Justice, Nemesis. Seven of Cups is like illusions, fantasy, right? Um, and it could be karma as well. It also means options, right? And somebody, you see the little like like magic, you know, like somebody waved a magic wand and, oh, I'm your dream girl here. Enchantress, alluring, mystical, and charming. I feel like somebody's casting spells also. Like maybe they did a love spell to confuse this, you or this or, or this person that wanting, wanting to come towards you. That's what I'm really getting. This is so weird. Somebody met like... An illusionist is what I'm feeling here. And it had this person stuck. Knight of Pentacles. You know, it's like the witch that gave um, Snow White that rotten apple. Weird. Ugh. Anyways, so we have music, vibration, frequencies, and atonement. With this card, I'm feeling like somebody's feeling your vibes. Okay, they want to come through your portal here. You guys could be connecting through music. I feel like you intuitively are picking this, what they're put, picking up what they're putting down. Somebody here could be in the music industry. It doesn't have to be though. Um, yeah, the emperor. This emperor could also be an earth angel, but they were dealing with karma. That's why the indecision is here. And they have to take a leap of faith. And um, I'm hearing, fly like an eagle. So soaring above the trees, right? So somebody's gaining wisdom, maybe going through an awakening here. Temperance. Damn. Somebody was heavy and under illusion here. I 
I just feel like somebody was portraying to be something they just weren't. The karmic. Karma, king of wands with the enchantress. I feel this person has liked you for a long time, or you, or you have liked them for a long, long time. But they were stuck under an illusion. This emperor. Bottom of the deck. Mm hmm. There's the illusion, the devil hiding in plain sight. Oh boy. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, some, yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Devil in a dress. So somebody wants to get, yeah. I feel like this is a new connection. Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, we have um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here with the Ace of Wands. Somebody can't sleep thinking about this. They want to invest in the situation, but they were invested with the devil. That's why they're having patience. This is the patience because the tower is here. Okay, but they're stuck there for whatever reason. There's there's still some loose ends tied up here. And Knight of Swords, I feel, is this person being angry. Oh, yeah. I don't like this. Yeah, guys, this person is no good. The devil here, um, this person could be doing death spells or definitely wants somebody. Somebody can't see what this person is doing. They were blinded to it. Or they don't want to see it for what it is. This person, this is death here. This is death spells. Five of swords. This person wants to win at all costs. But it's going to end up backfiring is what is going to happen here. They can't fight with you. You're in your strength. And you're enlightened. So you see the difference? Like I said, it's like what they're doing, you're undoing. There's somebody caught in the middle and it's this emperor. Okay, so you're going to have to see who's who here. This is this dark force against this emperor that was... An illusion. Seven of Cups, the devil with the enchantress. And this person is trying to be patient with temperance because they just, either they're still figuring out what's going on even though the tower is, is happening, or you. Okay, while well, this person is trying to basically destroy. This is destroy. We already have the tower. This person destroys. They want to win at all costs. There's no cups here for with this person. As far as, you know, that's not an illusion like the Seven of Cups. And this is not the first time they've done stuff like this. They've done it to other people. And then you have your energy, Beacon of Light, Enlightenment, Three of Pentacles, Dragon's Breath, Spiritual Initiation, Ascension to Spiritual and Mystical Heights, Purification. You see where they're at? They're kind of miming mining here that's usually where the dragon has its treasure it's a mystical energy that somebody has here very abundant very strong very confident because we have the strength and we have enlightenment connected to a higher realm tapped into source this is like night and day here so somebody is surrendering but look how long they've been under this illusion. Seven of Cups again. So they need to surrender, loyalty, and change. Okay, because there's light down here. But they're in darkness. And that's the decision, the leap of faith. Okay, and the other situation that has been... Yeah, this situation is about to be forbidden. Because um, they're definitely this is, this is a closed chapter. Okay, again, I don't know what this person's um, karma is going to be, but like I said, it might backfire. This is the end of this. This has become forbidden. Five of Cups, Seven of Cups with the um, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody invested in this way too many times, and now it's going to be forbidden. 
Five of Cups. Yeah, this this was a past life karmic judgment with the Six of Cups. There's also a child here. And somebody could have invested in another situation. So there's a lot more going on in in whatever connection this either you were in or the person wanting to come towards you was in, whoever this emperor is. Okay. Oh boy, this is nuts. Wow. Let's keep moving. These readings, man. All right. So what's happening here with this King of Wands page of cups then? For Cancer. feeling that energy for some of you you have you have two people here that are interested in you a lot of people are seeking you out because you're the beacon of light you're in your, your high vibrational energy you're connected to source so it's a very attractive energy so you might have a choice here and you might have to make a decision okay outside of whatever this was there's so much energy here oh my god I feel like the feminine is the healer here you're you have choices as well this masculine coming to you they were with someone dark doing all kinds of shit okay because I have the five of wands here and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we saw the Queen of Pentacles. So you have options. You have choices here. That's the King of Wands. We have a Page of Cups. And we have the Emperor. We have the Page of Cups twice. You might have karma with somebody here, though. But again, karma could be good or bad. Let's see what else here. So I feel like you're stable. Either that or you're looking at a queen of pentacles. So take it out, resonates. Hold on. Oh boy. I am making a mess. That's the Eight of Swords. A lot of people pulling on your energy. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, hold on a second. Cancer. I have a kink on my neck. Whoa, that hurt. Oh my god. Wow, that gave me a straight headache. Eight of Swords. <laughs> headache. Damn, there's a lot of... Um, I just feel like there's so much conflict around you. Like... Yeah, lovers. I got a headache now. Man. People are breaking their necks, is what I'm getting, looking at you, wanting to be with you, ask you out. There's a lot of people tugging at your energy. They're going to put you in the Eight of Swords. 
expect a lot of commotion uh, through June here. Messages, people saying they like you, they want to take you out. Uh, yeah, you're going to be like, fuck this. Okay, you are the hermit crab of the zodiac, so there you go. I don't even know why this is a Virgo card. This should be a Cancer card to me. But yeah, you're in hermit mode because there's yeah, you're strong and confident, and these people they want to like hold on to your energy. Queen of Cups. It's because you're very compassionate. Okay, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. That's you. Um, you got a lot of love to give. You're intuitive as f too. Yeah, you have somebody here, Queen. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, with the strength, with the King of Cups. Somebody's highly attracted to you, loves your nurturing energy. You, they know you're highly intuitive. We have King and Queen of Cups with Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's the Empress. I knew it. That's why you're coming up as all queens because you're in your power, and people like that shit. You're attracting so much energy. The devil's here, though. Yeah, there's people fighting here. Five of Swords, the devil. Oh, my goodness. It's like people want a piece of you. They want you for themselves. I have such a headache right now. I had, like, a kink on my neck because I, the way I try to bend to get that card, and it shot up straight to my head. Oh, this, this is so annoying. What an annoying feeling. Okay, bottom of the deck. Strength. Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. King of Cups. So clearly there's a match. We have the King and Queen of Wands and the Queen, King and Queen of Cups. Um, And we have options. So there could be someone that you have a lot of chemistry with. Okay, now I'm, now I'm starting to see. Because the devil is in the details here with the Five of Swords. There's somebody jealous. They don't want you to be with somebody else. 32, 33 on the clock. Um, and they're tugging at your energy is what I feel. So you're going to have to make a decision here as well. But somebody here was dealing with somebody dark. It's almost like you both had like dark forces here that you encountered in your lives tugging at your light. Okay, these people are in their dark. Somebody here is in their darkness, as well as this person um, that was, you know, I feel poisoning somebody here. That's what I'm getting. But somebody here, you had, like, chemistry, or you will have chemistry with, but it's the devil and the five of swords. Okay? They don't like the fact that you're moving forward and rebuilding elsewhere. And investing in someone else. Yeah, they're feeling heartbroken. They're going to be heartbroken and jealous as F. Man, there's so much energy here. I need to, uh, I'm going to go through this a little bit fast here. As fast as I can, because I need to take some aspirin. They're going to give you a headache, cancer. Or whoever, whoever the empress is. There's an emperor, there's an empress. Clearly, you guys belong together. But there's so much commotion around you guys. And it's because you're en enlightened, enlightened, awakened. Yeah. Expect a lot of energy coming. Eight of Wands with the world. A lot of communication as well. Um, a lot of um, social media communication as well. Two more shuffles on this side. Yeah, you're you're gonna feel this high priestess with the eight of wands. You're gonna get downloads also, because I'm getting headaches. Um, you're gonna get expect downloads. Because you're enlightened, so spirit is going to show you something. Oh, 
June just seems like it's going to be busy. Yeah, the magician. The magician. Okay. And this person. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's moving away from that magician. So somebody met a magician in reverse. Someone manipulative. And that definitely deals with the dark side of the magician, which is potions and spell work. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, judgment. Okay, this person is shedding an old layer of themselves. They're letting something go. Um, definitely, thank God. Yeah, they're freeing themselves, Nine of Pentacles. Hallelujah. So whether that's you or, or, or them, you're here, but so is this person and, and other energies. Um, I got to get out of this reading. Ugh. Yeah, two of wands, taking on a whole nother direction. King of, king of wands, again, you have a king of wands and a king of pentacles. With the two of wands, there's options here. Knight of swords, they're coming in fast and coming in hot. With the Queen of Cups. I feel like your heart's going to be torn to waste. Queen of Wands. <laughs> That's the same energy we had here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So there's passion and chemistry because the devil's in the details with somebody that's jealous. It's almost like the same kind of person that this person encountered. I don't know about the magic and stuff, but... And then there's somebody you're going to fall in love with that's falling in love with you. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So I'm almost feeling like you could be... Some of you could be the Emperor, but we had the Emperor and the Empress. This is so crazy. Yeah, you're going to have to leave somebody out in the cold and keep it moving. And you're going to know exactly who it is, though. Because the other person's low vibrational. Yeah. Done. Ooh. Somebody's definitely wishing ill will on you. Because somebody's moving away from... This person is wishing ill on you. Okay? Because they're low vibrational as somebody's coming for you. They're attracted to you and they... They like your energy. This is very intuitive, very attractive, very compassionate, very um, spiritual energy, ambitious, creative, confident. And we've been seeing that throughout the reading. Beacon of light. And somebody's leaving this person. Low vibrational energy that does things in the dark behind. And this person is wishing death on somebody here. Possibly in a car as well. Because we have the tower also. And it's because that's done there. Yeah, they want this wish fulfillment. Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups, the Hermit. And being patient. So they must have did some sort of death spell. God, these people just... Uh, they drive me nuts. Yeah, this person stood up and cut this person out. Whoever it is, they're ready to invest somewhere else. That's why they're single. That's why they're coming towards you. Or you're the person going towards the person you're meant to be with. Emperor and Empress. And you know how that goes, man. People are always against these freaking connections. And they always do the most. It's almost like the devil knows exactly where to find these people. And puts a wrench in it. And it uses these types of people to, dis to destroy, basically, the tower. So that it doesn't come together. And you guys must be stronger than these people. Or these entities. This is a spiritual war. Definitely. Absolutely. People need to stop looking at things on just a three-dimensional level. Because that's not... We're not a dense one dimension. We're multi-dimensional. Living in multi-dimensional existence. Even if we can't see it. I mean, it's right here. Tell me about the strength card. Financial struggle, deficit, faking it. So you have somebody, that's probably the king of wands, acting like they got it all, got it like that, in their ego, but they don't have anything. That's the devil and the five of swords that we saw. 
Queen of Cups. Perfect match, gut feeling, soul connection. So you have a gut feeling, Queen of Cups. I said that with the Page of Cups here, about someone coming into your life. So King and Queen of Cups, you guys already know about each other. Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody's salty. Okay, so that's this person then. That's the salty person. That's the other person. Salty about you. Trying to keep somebody bound here. Or confused mentally. So somebody had to go within to sort through these energies. So that's the salty person. And King of Cups. Yeah, third wheel. Other people affair. Karmic cycle. Definitely. So somebody was in a karmic situation. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, legal matters. That's the holdup. Okay, court hearing, final decision, and triggered, healing, traumatized, and solitude. Yeah, solitude with the hermit. So this person is trying to heal. They were triggered with that person. Down to fuck as DTF, single, free spirit, many options. I feel like that's the person they were dealing with. Okay. Oh boy, many options. Seven of Cups, Enchantress. Keeping people stuck under their spells. People are sick. And over here, what's going on? Let's get to my truth bomb. And sometimes the readings are hard to get through because there's so much energy. Finally, my headache is subsiding. Alright, Spirit, tell me about this Two of Wands energy. Yep, there you go. With no risk, come no reward. Leave your faith. <coughs> oh, excuse me. King of Wands. Yeah, that's... See, you guys are mirroring each other. The Queen of Wands is salty. And this Queen of Wands <coughs> is looking for another notch on his or her belt. <coughs> but we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Man, there's so much energy in this reading. Wow. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. So you have two directions, but it's going to be obvious, like I said to you. I'm going to need you to take a leap of faith, spirit. So that's the person making a decision to go towards their Queen of Pentacles. But just like they're being hassled by somebody, even though that's falling apart, they're in a court situation, you have somebody here talking shit, can't let you go, pissed off, because they're highly attracted to you. And they're looking for another notch on his or her belt. Low vibration. Could be somebody you already knew, for some of you. Um, Knight of... Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Knight of Swords. You're simply irresistible. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to run after you. Like, I can't let this person go. I need to show up before it's too late. Guys, June is going to be crazy. Let me tell you. Bottom of the deck. Yeah. <laughs> this person is ignorant. Oh, boy. You're my most beautiful manifestation. Okay. I feel like that's the new person. You're protected. They can't touch you. Okay. Why is that there? Because this person is wishing death on you. Okay, you're protected. Happiness is not a mask you throw on. It's a lifestyle. This is the King of Pentacles struggling. They've been struggling with this decision, but obviously they're going through whatever it is that they're going through legally here when it came to this person. 
And yeah. When the cat's away, the mice will play deceptive behavior. I'm going to need you to check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what Spirit is telling this bitch. Okay? That likes to um, seduce men. They just like to stir up passions in men and take them for granted. That's what I'm seeing. And destroy them. I mean, they are in court. They have financial ties is what I'm seeing. Yeah, you stimulate their senses. And they know they can't hold a candle to you. So there you go. And true love surrounds you. Okay, so there's something here. I, I knew it. Something about a child. Incoming. You are you are the father. Cut. That person's been cut off by spirit. They're going through judgment. This person. Now, for some of you, it could be that king of wands. Okay, they have a secret affair or secret child with somebody. I don't know. There's too much energy here. Yeah, spirit is cheering you on. You got this, and you know they're a thing of the past. Okay, so that could be this person that's been cut off by spirit, this king of wands. Since he's looking for another notch on his or her belt, they, they have a child somewhere. So it could be either of these people. I don't know, man. There's too much energy here. I'm done. I'm done, Cancer. Okay. Let me know if, if, if that made sense. Because <laughs> there was so much energy, I just have to drop it right there. Let it go. Let the chips fall where they may. Okay. <laughs> um, let me know if any of that resonates. There is a counterpart. But you both have fuck girls, fuck boys on each side. Okay, one of them's not done with you. They're still trying to sleep with you. The other one is casting spells and wishing death on you and all kinds of juju voodoo over there. Uh, you know. Y'all talk about it when you get together, I'm sure. Alright, guys. Oof. I'm out of here. Peace.